Hey, this is Nick at Destination Now. We're at Mono Lake having a great time. Today, I'm gonna show you what I did to upgrade my truck in five easy steps to carry that camper and get us here today. Hello, I'm Jack and this is Nick. We invite you to join us and our dog Trixie on our unique journey as we pack everything up move into our camper, travel to our favorite destinations, and begin living in the now. Today we're swapping out these mirrors for these mirrors. We'll be able to see around the camper finally. Right now with these, the camper sticks out to about right here, so I can't see behind it. These will stick out much further. These are from Grote. They have uh, electric motors inside of them and power heated, so that's cool. Um, these are my stainless steel brackets that are gonna go on there. Um, we're gonna put this bracket somewhere around here and then the other bracket's going to be up here and they will come out to triangles and they're actually adjustable in length so i can probably extend them out a little bit further we're going to try to keep them as far forward as we can so they're not sticking into the window um never done this before so it's going to be interesting hopefully we do it right huh <laughs> Come right off. All right. West Coast mirrors on the truck. Woo! <laughs> Gonna be able to see around the camper finally. I got something really cool today. Need to get in the mail. Uh, turbo for the truck. A proper turbo upgrade is going to make all the difference in the world when you're running through the mountains like Sonora Pass, where we just passed through 25% grades. Pulling a heavy load like we have, you got to have the right equipment. This turbo was spooling up at 1400 RPM, so I wasn't leaving a big cloud of black smoke behind me. I wasn't wasting fuel. I had the power when I needed it gotta have a good turbo it is Al. you know men we want a job done right and we want it done quick what do we need More power. this is a k27 made by borg warner it's far more efficient yeah. all right there she goes oh. Your old turbo. So there's the old one. Here, move that flashlight. So if you look at the turbines, this one still works good. It's in good shape. Probably sell this, get some money out of it. Then look at the size of that turbine. Way bigger. So that's going to be way more efficient for us. We're installing a pyrometer. Oh, and that doesn't measure pi, I'm sure. No. What this does is it measures my exhaust gas temperature. Um, as it comes out of the cylinders and into the exhaust manifold here and then enters the turbo, it gets very hot. And we can see temperatures anywhere from 600 degrees up to 1600 degrees. If it gets too hot, what happens is it melts the cylinders, which is not good. So 
when anytime you're doing performance upgrades like we've been doing here today, um, you want to put gauges like those in so that you can monitor everything that's going on and um, not mess up your engine because these engines aren't cheap. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill and tap a hole right here. Screwing in. This is the probe. Work. Okay. We have success. When you're doing heavy performance upgrades like we are, gauges are paramount to longevity of your rig. If you don't keep an eye on the temperature of your transmission, the temperature of your cylinders, and the, the pressure in your manifold, your rig ain't gonna make it. You won't make the miles. This rig will see a million miles. I guarantee it. The other thing that made a huge difference for us on the Snora Pass with those 25% grades was this NB5600 six-speed transmission that we installed. It was custom built by Cody Albright down at Super Stick Transmissions in Texas. This thing's rated at 750 horsepower, hardened gears, super synchros, and a dual disc ceramic clutch built for performance. Suspension is one of those places that you really got to think about what you want. Now, I opted to go with the leaf sprung suspension because of the advice that I got from an old school guy. The airbag suspensions that they install aren't proper. They don't work very well with your leaf spring setup. So what I opted to do is have my leaf springs custom built by a leaf spring shop for this load. Um, it works great. I don't have a stability bar and I don't have any problems with stability. It holds the load perfectly. I'm very happy with it. I went with some seriously oversized shocks and it rides really smooth. These are two and a half inch ADS racing shocks. I had them custom installed by Greg at Rock and Road Performance. He did a wonderful job. Greg, thank you so much for all your hard work. I really appreciate it, brother. Running a single wheel, rear wheel with this much weight, you really got to keep an eye on the temperature and the pressure in your tires. So I opted to go with the tire minder. Um, I plug this thing in to each valve stem and it gives me a readout, tells me the temperature and the pressure while I'm running down the road. So on a really hot day when I'm worried about it, I can really monitor my tires. Make sure they're not going to blow out because that's very important when you're running single rear, single, sing, single rear wheel. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, don't take anything I said seriously because I don't know what I'm talking about. This is strictly for entertainment purposes. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Have a great day. I'll see you later. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to like and subscribe.